Here we are, February of 2021. It's been a year after my second job in tech after coding bootcamp, and I'm gonna give you guys the update right here in this video. Stick around to the end. What's going on guys, I'm Darian, this is Darian the Dev, and if you guys are into tech, entrepreneurship, coding, startups, anything like that, make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe, it really helps me stay motivated to put this content out for you guys, alright? So let's just go ahead and jump right into it, one year after my second job in tech, what has it been like, what has been going on? Well the first thing is, 9 out of 12 of these months I've been working remotely. And I know that's probably obvious now, COVID-19 happened, and yada, 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 but not everyone, even in tech, is that fortunate to be able to work completely 100% remotely for this entire year. I just think that's important to put in here because it's allowed me to you know, save money from commuting downtown every day on gas, oil changes, just basic maintenance, parking, things like that. The next thing I wanna bring up is that I was able to participate in two virtual global hackathons, which has been amazing. The company I work for, a part of them adapting to the COVID-19 pandemic was to you know, still figure out how can we get people to interact and work together and meet new people within the company when we're all spread out globally across different time zones, different countries. And one of the solutions that they came up with was doing a hackathon, company-wide hackathon where everybody gets involved, everyone from non-technical people who are in the research side of things, all the way up to obviously architects and developers and VPs and things like that. Everybody comes together in teams of people that you likely have never met before, uh, all virtually of course, and working together to hack together products over the course of a week to build for the company. It's a very unique learning experience for me personally, working with developers who are from Mexico or from Russia and just their different approach to problem solving and how they approach architecture and just the things that they do, the ideas they come up with and how they work. I just think that it's really, really fascinating. I think it adds value to me as a person. And yeah, I just really thought that was a really cool experience. The next thing up is that I was able to get my Azure AZ900 fundamental certification and my job actually paid for it, which was incredible. My job specifically works in Azure a lot. Pretty much everything we do is in Microsoft Azure. So getting the Azure AZ900 without having any previous cloud development experience for me was really important that I study and get better at this and get the certification for my job. So for anybody out there who's either already working in tech or getting a new job or getting your first job in tech, these are all things that you can ask or be on the lookout for. So that actually ties into the next thing pretty well, which is that we have access to LinkedIn Learning and Pluralsight both. So my first job, we only had access to Pluralsight, which is not bad at all. Pluralsight is actually pretty great. Um, to me, LinkedIn Learning is a little bit better in terms of the content being a little bit more applicable and useful and a little bit more detailed, whereas I feel like Pluralsight is a little bit kind of like high level concepts of things. It gives you a good introduction to new concepts, but learning like really technical stuff through Pluralsight to me just wasn't as great of an experience as with uh, LinkedIn Learning. But either way, it doesn't matter. They're both great e-learning platforms. They have great courses, great content, and they cost money. So if your company or job is providing you access to that, then that shows again that they reinvest in their employees growing. They believe in career progression. They believe that you should be upskilling. And it's up to you as an employee to take advantage of those opportunities. So I definitely try to take Pluralsight courses and LinkedIn learning courses all the time, which is super useful for me and the things that I wanna do in my career and the things that I wanna learn. So yeah, I just love having access to those things. So again, when you guys are interviewing for jobs or looking for companies, really see if they have a focus on providing these type of opportunities. They can also have something like Coursera or Udemy. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be LinkedIn learning or Pluralsight, but as long as they pretty much reinvest in your continued education, your continued learning. I feel like that's a, a really big pro and something you should definitely look out for uh, when you're you know, looking for your job. We also have weekly lunch and learns, which I really like personally. Like I said, we're a global car data company. And because of that, there's just so many different products and tools that I don't even touch in this North American market. So there, it's cool that every week we come together for an hour virtually, of course, and have these virtual lunch and learns where 
you know, knowledge is shared from the company in general, whether it's best practices or exposure to other tools and apps and services the company provides that we don't really get to interact or work with all the time. And then there's really technical lunch and learns as well too, where we go over architecture and actual code and even how our databases are structured, how to name certain things like our naming conventions across the company and just all the other best practices that we have we have these open conversations and we even talk about business strategy in these sometimes. So from week to week, it just really depends on what we're gonna talk about. Um, again, whether this is up to you or not, if you would be interested in that type of thing, but for me, it is nice to get access to information as opposed to having to go dig for things. So I think it's great that they invest the time in sharing company knowledge versus kind of expecting or forcing you to go digging for all of it and just expecting you to go learn it all and know it when you haven't necessarily been in the industry maybe as long as some other people have. And the last thing I kind of already touched on, but it's just, I really appreciate the international collaboration. So I just want to say that that's a, another really big benefit that I've noticed over this year is that every single day I work with product owners who are based in the UK and I work with people who are based in Mexico and Italy and pretty much everywhere between emails and Microsoft Teams and meetings, you know, hackathons um, or just working on something in a sprint with another team and communicating with them. You're just always dealing with different people who have different languages and beliefs and ways of working and collaborating and personalities and you learn about different holidays and just all these different things that you would never think would be tied to work necessarily so i think it's just been a great experience seeing all the different ways that i've worked in different settings and environments and i've, I've worked very closely under the same roof with all the people who i worked with but at this job now i'm working with people who i've never even met before but they're all the way across the world and i feel like i understand those people or those cultures a little bit better and i think that i'm a better co-worker because of those people and those experiences of being able to work with them and collaborate with them and communicate with them and so yeah it's, it's really dope so yeah guys uh this job is completely different than the company i worked for previously in terms of size and just culture and everything so i just wanted to pretty much touch on those type of things but if you guys want to know anything specifically or technically i can make a video about that so let me know down in the comment section down below if you guys want that make sure you like share and subscribe if you want that too it really helps me stay motivated to put this content out for you guys and check out the description box where i give away my free intro to coding bootcamp course it has everything in there i wish i knew before i went to coding bootcamp and it only costs an email address so make sure you guys check that out this is darian with darian dev i appreciate you guys tuning in i'll catch you guys next video all right peace